Thank you. I. Yes. What have I been struggling with? Good question. Um. I guess trying to figure out um my moving situation. I'm moving at the end of the summer to Florida and so I'm just trying to get all those details figured out, which I know this doesn't really sound like a problem. It's a good problem, trust me, I'm not complaining. But I'm definitely it's definitely stressful. I'm not good with change, so like I when I moved into this apartment last year, it was a lot for me. Even though I moved like a mile away, um, it was a lot. Like I'm really bad with change. So just that, I think. Um, did you like Florida when you lived there? Or you obviously moved, so. Yeah, it is a big deal. What part of Florida? I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't have a place yet or anything. Um, so, I'm not sure. Maybe, like, um, what's the place? Not Miami, but what's, like, right next to Miami? I don't know. I'm kind of trying to figure it out currently. Thanks, Brew. Florida losing the cup tonight. I haven't even been paying attention. Maybe I should put it out. You just know you're going to Tampa. <laughs> Maybe. What's not Fort Lauderdale? What's the other place? It's like Palm, not Palm. You know, it's right under, I think it's under, um, not West Palm, no. It's like under Boca, or it's by Boca Raton, but it's not Boca. It's not Orlando. Is it West Palm Beach? Is that, does that sound like. I don't know. I don't know yet, but I will be moving to Florida in the fall. So I'm really, really, really excited. Um, and yeah, I'll basically just be, I think I'm really going to focus on, um, just being able to work out outside all year round and, hey Ray, and going to the beach. I love the beach. I lived in Hawaii for a couple of years, so, um, to be honest, if I could, I'd be moving to Hawaii, but too far from my family, and I, it's just, it would just be way too much. I love my family, so I don't want to be too far from them. What do I do for a living? I work marketing and sales. Actually, I work pretty much everything for this job I have. It's an like interior design company. Sometimes I'm even doing like the design aspect of things, so pretty much everything. Sorry, I'm getting um, fidgety here because my hair is just not Okay, I gotta say, um, thank you so much. What's your name? Shane, thank you. I'm 5'8. How many steps do I take per day? Good question. I have a Fitbit. I guess I have to tell you guys about that. I just got this last week, so I love it so far. To be honest, I was about to buy the Aura Ring, I think it's called. And um, I did some research on Reddit. I love Reddit. And everyone was saying how, like, also, my heart right now is 100 beats per minute, which is similar to how fast it beats when I'm in like a sauna. If that gives you any insight on how like I get nervous public talking, yeah, I played soccer. Um, okay, anyway. Yeah, I've been averaging like 10K or more a day. Obviously that's, I think that's like the goal when you have one of these things, is to hit 10K steps. So I've been doing that. Um, but yeah, I keep forgetting this is open. Um, But I love it, definitely recommend, it's great. I got it for sleeping. Um, I looked up like the best thing to have for sleep because I was about to buy the Aura Ring, which I didn't realize it's like $500. So I had it in my cart and I was like, you know what I'm just gonna do it, like I need to track my sleep. Luckily I checked Reddit and everyone was saying how Fitbit is, 
like their favorite, most accurate sleeping thing. So that's why I got it. And the steps and everything like that, the heart rate is just like an added bonus. Thank you. Um, oh yeah, I had my nails done for like the first time ever. Remember last time I went live, I was saying how I'm gonna go get my nails done? Um, well I did. And I went with like this whitey pink color. I had black right before it, and I was honestly feeling the black a lot. Like, I think next time I go, I'm gonna get black. Yeah, I love my Fitbit. No kids. Thanks, Christopher.